in the dead silence of the morning at 5.29.45 Mountain War Time, the Jornada del Muerto was bathed in an intense flash of a light that man had only seen. The Atomic Bomb by Julia Harris and Michelle Camaro The Manhattan Project The Manhattan Project was the name given to the first U.S. efforts to build an atomic weapon. Although research was performed at several sites in the country, the main experiments were conducted at Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico, where the first atomic bombs were built. Nuclear Testing in 1945, nuclear testing took place in the atmosphere, space, underground, and underwater by the Soviet Union and the United States. At the Trinity Test Area in Alamogordo, New Mexico, the United States tested for the first time the bomb. When the bomb exploded, a mushroom cloud rose to the sky and killed everything that was in, within a couple of miles away from it. When the other countries saw the United States and the Soviet Union's success, they started to develop their own nuclear weapons, but more complex. Little citizens knew about the harm radiation could do to the human body, but the ones who did know didn't raise their voices to warn everyone. If someone comes in contact with radiation, there is a higher chance to develop cancer. Oppenheimer Julius Robert Oppenheimer, also known as Oppy, was the director of the IAS Institute for Advanced Study for 20 years and was the most well-known person who helped with the development of the atomic bomb. In 1942, Oppenheimer, now one of the world's top physicists, got selected to be the director of the Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico, where he and other fine scientists from the country worked on the Manhattan Project. Oppenheimer believed it was unnecessary to show the public how the atomic bomb worked when James Frank and Leo Zellert, senior Los Alamos scientists, wanted to demonstrate the bomb before it got used in Japan. Oppenheimer used whatever it took to advise the government not to develop a hydrogen bomb, which would be more powerful than the atomic bomb. In 1949, President Harry Truman refused to. On February 18, 1967, J. Robert Oppenheimer died from throat cancer in New York City. Under the approval of Truman, the United States dropped two atomic bombs, both in Japan. Many people discussed on whether this was the right decision, and Truman argued that it was vital in order to save American lives and to seek revenge against Japan. We have no desire or intention to destroy or enslave the Japanese people. But only surrender can prevent the kind of ruin which they have seen come to Germany as a result of continued useless resistance. Well, I, I think, unfortunately, it's, uh, it's a situation that's kind of gotten out of hand with, with so many countries that have it. But at the same time, I think uh, the more countries that have it, or because of the countries that do have it, I think there's more of a check on the uh, on the balance of power. In other words, uh, no country is going to c 
control the entire world because one country has the atomic bomb. It'd be better if nobody had it, I would think. Well, actually, we were pretty proud of it because we felt like uh, we went a long ways toward uh, development of the bomb and uh, we felt like it ended World War II and we thought it saved a lot of lives. So we were actually very proud of the fact that, uh, that we were part of that process. Now, uh, understand, this matters to people everywhere. One nuclear weapon exploded in one city could kill hundreds of thousands of people. I state clearly and with conviction, America's commitment to seek the peace and security of a world without nuclear weapons. I'm not naive. This goal will not be reached quickly, perhaps not in my lifetime. It will take patience and persistence. But now we, too, must ignore the voices who tell us that the world cannot change. We have to insist, yes, we can.